Hey everybody, my old mate Pottinger Paul. Look, look, we can shake hands yeah. again. <laughs> After a couple of years of avoiding us like the plague and not being, I don't mean avoiding us because we've been running, but you know what I mean. Absolutely. Of getting in, yeah. in cabs and tractors. So yeah. um, Paul has basically apprehended our uh, Hornet. He's taken the fast track with him on its tour. The idea is Paul, we're heading around a bit of Ireland, I don't know what your plans is because look, look up there, the weather's not brilliant. Yeah. But this is your new baler. Yep. And you're going to take it, you're going to run a few demos. A wee quick chat about the baler, we'll not say too much because obviously we'll get out, we'll video the baler work and it's impressive looking. It's a 316 VC Pro, just yep. roughly, roughly. Belt quickly. baler, a belt baler. This is a belt baler in yeah. Ireland. A belt baler in Ireland. Uh, why? Yeah. Okay. Why? Like, and this had to be a long time coming. We, this came from last summer when we had a lot of people interested in a belt baler for a couple of reasons. They're wanting to make a bigger, heavier bale, charge by the kilo, have an incentive to make a good bale, and have a better cost-effective situation for their customer because there's less plastic, less handling, and things involved like that. Perfect. Now that makes sense. What you're saying makes sense. But about baler, mm -hmm. can it even start a bale? Can it form a bale? Can it make a bale? Well, in uh, wet Irish conditions. We're going to find out. But, <laughs> and that's just the way it is. But we're going to find out, good man. We, we, we have good word because this is actually Scandinavian spec. Even the wheels are a little wider. You okay. might have noticed. Yes. And Scandinavia is very similar. To our conditions when you get into northern Finland, northern Sweden, Norway <clears throat> and they have a lot of wet grass and this has a huge market share up there. It's also plastic, so film binding, which is not offered on a lot of belt balers, so she will do net or plastic, which is important at the moment. So that is the plan that yes, she will take wet grass. <laughs> I think I guess key is she has a lot of starting rollers, so she has four of them and I think that's where we're going to win with the feed in starting. And so, VC does that stand for variable chamber? Yes. Yeah. So I'm, I've been listening. <laughs> whenever they took me around the factory, yeah. whenever you did take us around the factory, we were over with Dermot and we took a look at the factory. The balers were being made at that point in a bit of a makeshift assembly line, but maybe not just in Ireland yet. They haven't. I'll not say exactly took off, but. They've taken off <laughs> yeah. because there's a complete new assembly line or yeah, a, a new factory basically uh, yeah. for the four for rotor rake and the baler, yeah. a whole new greenfield site, which is going to be developed for further products as well. But yes, you're right. Like this machine was market leader in many countries for belt baler combi, combi for the last few seasons. So there's no reason it can't be here. But we had the little baler out. Um, and we had it on our 3650 again mm. to showcase that you can buy your new baler, you can do it, it had the knives over the top. I'm seeing all that still in play, the quick knife relief system, mm. the wrapper, we had the wrapper in that one, but I mean that 3650 at 114 horse was running around making good bales, mm -hmm. but that was at a stage when you couldn't shake her hand. <laughs> do you remember? <laughs> that's, right. Like, that's, that's, right. the, that's the truth. So what we've got here is we've got the fast track we we probably don't need everything that the fast track can give but what the fast track can do for you is give you a bit of maneuverability and speed Absolutely. to move around and let a few dealers etc see it so basically it's a watch this space guys yeah. we 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 want it to team up with with, with hottinger again and i think they obviously i suppose when you have a few tractors <laughs> and you've good companies and you've someone like paul and ben you know, or James doing the, the driving that you know you can trust and let loose. That's the beautiful thing about it. What I really want them to do, and I hope they're listening, is get me something big, heavy and ignorant for the 350. But we're going to see this working. You're going to take it south. And I suppose, let's be honest, deep south is completely different to here before we even start. But you're going to try it here as well. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You, no, I mean... It was a good time to try it anyway. Now, is it easy to variable change or so variable chamber? So, can we make a wee bale or a big yeah. bale? You can make a bale, I think it's from 0.8 of a meter up to 1.6. And then you have three zones. And within those three zones, you can change the pressure. So, if you want soft core, 
haylage guys, things like that. But I guess for the silage, we'll try to make a solid from the inside out. And I know when we were at the factory, um, the variable chamber balers was where it was at, like because if you if you studied what was coming down the line, there was only one and I don't know half a dozen, if even, that was coming out your fixed chamber baler. They were, they were all coming out in the belt system. So like I suppose that's where the market is. One criticism I would have had of the previous impress, the 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 would have been the bale transfer over felt a little bit slow. You have improved that a little bit? Yes, we have. We by, have. Like up by a good bit, haven't you? Yeah, we have, and we've improved how stable it Just is. So up. this has a slope monitor, so she will alter the transfer depending on the angle of the slope, up or down or sidewards, to protect the transfer as well. So oh, also so she speed can, up. So she's a, she's a smart back end then? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> in theory, yeah, you know. But um, so uh, in theory, sliding down a wee bit like this here, she should level the bale out because uh, that, not, yeah. that that's a bit of an issue in certain yeah. makes and brands and stuff transferring. Yeah. And, and I mean, where we don't, you know, we don't all have flat fields. No, we don't know, have any flat enough. fields. So <laughs> transfers a bit quicker. Yeah, Rapman's good. You're happy enough with yeah. all of that. Yeah, and so the interesting one is how does the belt work in Ireland? Yeah, and look at I guess. People had a bad experience with belt balers in a certain generation and it just blackened the whole concept. So we've got the big roll, we've got the big rail with the big rotor, we have the blades upside down, which yep. I'm not saying they're the wrong, I'm just saying compared to what we're used to. Yeah. All of that's good. Plastic the, option. Yeah, she is plastic and, I, and she can hold two rolls of plastic or a roll of net and plastic that if you're switching from one to the other you don't have to get in and out. Hydraulic drawbar, that's an option, a bit like the wagons, you let her down when you get to the field, it gives you height clearance if you need, getting in and out, it's also suspended. But the knives being on top, I think that's what's going to make this work as regards the, the flow of grass is straight in to the chamber and I think it's starting the bale in wet grass is the issue and that's where I think this That's the issue in anything. Works. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I mean I can, you know, I can relate back to even if you're trying to <coughs> finish a bit off and the dew come down because yeah. you didn't want to go back, starting the bale off was always yeah. your issue, getting yeah. it to roll, getting it yeah, to exactly. getting it started. But like she's she shooed for the wet conditions. Yeah and they're not even the biggest, they're 620s and there's 710 options uh, as well, but she makes her a little... Right, the only thing I'm going to say to you here and now is um, you'll not rub the tyre before you hit the mud guard. <laughs> no, no, no. And there is, a 500, there is a 500 and a 520 option too. We just wanted to make a bit of an impression. You know, air reel for blowing her off in destroy conditions. Oh, and that's super there. Yeah, simple. That's it. It's a tight looking rig now. Yeah, it is. Would the likes of the TM 140 handle it? Absolutely, and I wouldn't be afraid of it other than I have 250 miles to drive this evening. I understand. What I but do you, know, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. uh, well, look, yeah. guys, look, Paul's heading off. It's lovely to see him. Hopefully the tractor does well for him. Um, I hope. You always hope in these situations. Hope the baler's your hope problem. The baler goes as well as the <laughs> nah, tractor. The baler's his problem. <laughs> and we'll get caught up and see it and let you know. So it's just, yeah. I didn't want them leaving the yard without saying hi hey, to Paul. It's not really a grassman high definition video, it just does. But mm. good luck and we will catch up. But your plan is to go south for a wee bit mm -hmm. and then you'll come back up. Exactly. And then at that stage, hopefully it's dried up here and we can maybe try it in a couple of different options Absolutely. and get it beside a couple of competitors just mm -hmm. to see. Absolutely. Because we know the fixed chamber baler is a really good baler. Mm -hmm. We have the evidence of mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. We know the transfer and the wrapping system needed a little bit of work. Mm -hmm. So now you're telling me that bit's sorted, so we just need to see how the VC works. Absolutely. Which is always interesting, something new. <laughs> I mean, we grow a lot of haylage for horses, boy. <laughs> but we might need to move to southern England well, or somewhere. Yeah. All the best, Paul. Good Thanks, man. Gar. Thanks, Gareth. Thanks a million.